Hello Virgo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So, welcome Virgo. This is the Sacred Traveller Oracle deck. We have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Sometimes journeying by moonlight is you move in a direction that you're just surrendering and trusting because you're going with your intuition. You don't know what's going to happen ahead, but you're just surrendering and choosing, you're surrendering and choosing that it's the right direction for you. That would be the energy here. So you might be on some kind of journal, journey where you don't know what's ahead. You don't know how something's going to pan out. You just have to believe. It's a, it is a card of hidden blessings, the moon energy. So let's see what we have for you as an Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Virgo for the week. What does Virgo need to hear for the week to come? We have number 34, trust in divine purpose. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. That's the Archangel Michael message. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Virgos? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo for the week. What do we have for Virgo for the week? Oh, thank you. We have the Magician and the Devil. Yeah, I, I don't particularly like that kind of combination, but we will see what we get. The Page of Pentacles. The Lovers. Page of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Can be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. As an energy, it might well be you're getting to the very truth of the situation, or dealing with the truth, or seeing the truth. Could be also getting advice from a Queen of Swords. So we always kind of describe, you know, Queen of Swords energy. You know, as a friend, somebody who will tell it you like it is, you know, but is extremely truthful and direct. <laughs> but always is right, generally. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. The Four of Cups. And we have the Page of Swords, all these pages. I mean, Virgo, this can, with the lovers being here, the lovers can be to do with a relationship of any kind. It's two people. It's the card of Gemini. So this can actually be to do with you know, love, romance, relationship, ships. Um, it can also be to do with, you know, business partnerships, for example, as well. As well. It can be two people who are very connected, um, just like pieces of a jigsaw, fit together perfectly, you know. It's a really powerful union. But it looks like there's a choice here. It can be about the relationship. You know, the interesting thing that I was getting that was actually falling into place as well, because there's so many pages in this reading, it might also be, you know, a couple and then a child and you've got a choice or decision in terms of how to deal with a child or children. The energy of the devil and the magician, if it was children, it would be about seeing the reality of a situation here and understanding how you're going to take empowered action to deal with it. Because whatever this child is, is offering or even asking for 
this can be you know they understand how to get round you they understand how to manipulate this can actually be it's interesting I'm, I'm really getting a strong thread this could actually be if it was to do with a child or children understanding how to cause division between the two of you or play you off against each other in some way I mean that was kind of like a, a significant thing and this is what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords and King of Wands what you would like to be I was feeling you more as a Queen of Swords but you could be either really this would be the energy here of, of we need to kind of like be united and stand firm, you know, and not let, not let them cause division and play us off against each other in giving them what they want, you know. So it could well be somebody offering an apology, a heartfelt gesture, but they could also be asking for something from you. And it's almost kind of like they've done it before, they'll do it again, they are a master at this, they're, in, they're a master at manipulating the situation to get what they want. This just feels like we have to surrender and trust and stand united in dealing with this child or children. I mean, this can be that kind of energy here. So it might well be you're, you're kind of facing some kind of scenario where, again, you're just played off against each other. It's kind of divide and conquer <laughs> because whoever you're dealing with here, they're very good at getting what they want. They understand how to push your buttons, manipulate the situation and get what they want ultimately. And that's the energy here. It is a master manipulator, somebody who understands, very persuasive, very, very intuitive and clever, you know, in terms of uh, being very resourceful to get what they want. It could similarly be to do with a relationship as well. You know, and the Queen of Swords is about seeing the truth of the situation for what it is. There is a choice here, potentially with a King of Wands energy. It could be also be in terms of how you take action. Take the lead, take charge, take action, take control here by being in truth or dealing with the truth in terms of whether you start over with a person or move in a new direction. There could well be some kind of important conversation here, Virgo. Uh, and again, the, the page of ones is, is whether you start over with a person here, uh, whether you see potential to, to, to start over with them potentially whatever's gone before is start over on a brand new or, or whether you this relationship is working for you full stop whether you want to stay in this relationship or not because you're at some kind of significant crossroads and that's what the cards are kind of like showing here with the lovers there's a choice or a decision to make if that's the case the four of cups is i'm not saying yes i'm not saying no i'm thinking about it you either need more information or there's a, an additional conversation to be had here but that's what I'm seeing here. It just feels like you're dealing with a master manipulative energy. That is the devil and the, and the magician. Um, and it's really empowered. And the, I mean, I always say this about this combination as well. Uh, it can be quite narcissistic, uh, self. It's about ego. It's about feeding ego. It's about doing what they, they want, you know, uh, getting their own way. Uh, the devil can be linked with codependency, physical desire, passion, but knowing it's not for your highest good, controlling behavior, man manip manipulative behavior, jealous behavior. It can also be somebody who has an addiction problem, shopping, gambling, drinking, you know. So this just feels someone's working their magic on you, but for their own ends. This is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. If this was in another life area, for example, you know, because I, I try to kind of like keep these as general as possible because, you, know, um, you know, it's not like someone's coming to the table here and asking a specific question or a personal question to be answered in the card. So I always say what comes to me. If this was to do with money, career, financial aspects, it would be a similar thing. The Page of Pentacles can be a message to do with money, career, finances. So it can be to do with hearing about a new job. And you might be making some kind of choice or decision in terms of whether you go for that or not. Because again, the Four of Cups feels like something is offered to you, but it's whether you go for that or not. And I think it might well be getting the information, having the conversation in terms of whether you stay on a brand, whether you move on a brand new path in terms of money, career, finances, or you stay where you are. It's getting to the very truth of the situation, but seeing things in truth. 
And again, the, the, the devil and the magician, you could be dealing with like a, it could be a toxic boss. Um, it, it, I feel it's likely to do with a person, you know. Um, somebody who, and I, you know, it will be somebody who's very popular. Other people would not believe you if you say that this is how you're seeing this person for what they are. You see them as a narcissist, a, a manipulator. Um, but they understand how to work their spell and their magic on other people, you know. So this is likely somebody who's very popular as well. Could be in business, career, financial aspect. Could be a boss, for example. But other people don't see what you see. So this could be where you might be deciding or thinking about moving in a new direction because it's the healthy choice for you. But I think that by seeing the truth of this for what it is, I mean, the Queen of Swords sees this energy for what it is. So this is this might well be the scenario here, Virgo, where you need to kind of, uh, it's almost kind of agree a way forward here to make some kind of healthy life changes or decisions. I mean, you know, as a child, it could well be somebody who, you know, might be offering apology, but they've let you down before or they've acted in a way before. And you're kind of like, OK, we need to be kind of like stronger and more united in how we're dealing with this person so that, you know, we deal with the issue. You know, we set some ground rules. We set some healthy boundaries. This is the energy here. This can also be they're asking for something from you. Could be a money thing or, you know, could be anything. Whatever that devil energy is that feeds their ego. So this is the whole kind of scenario here. You understand what I'm saying? Could be offers of apologies, heartfelt gestures, offer to get back with you. Whichever scenario it is here, Virgo, the same message applies. But seeing the truth of the situation and making some kind of healthy life choices, if it's to do with, again, child and couple, it's presenting a united front as well. And there is a, a kind of feeling here. You just know what's right for you. Journey by moonlight. Sometimes I just ha you just have to surrender and trust. This is the energy here. You just have to surrender and trust and lean on your instinct and see the truth of the situation for what it is, not necessarily how you, what you, how you want it to be to establish healthy boundaries. That's what I'm getting here, however that would manifest. But Queen of Swords is not afraid of cutting cords with things that don't serve our highest good as well. There are always levels to that. The Queen of Swords is not just about, you know, is this for me? Is this not for me? There are always levels to that in terms of how do we deal with this? I see the truth of this. What do I do next? So whatever the scenario here is, you're coming up with some kind of very perfect solution. Okay. What do we have for Virgo as a message from Spirit? So we have surrender and trust your instincts, you know, and we have you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left through all the sadness and loneliness. However, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends and guides. You never walk alone as we walk right beside you. All right, what do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo for the week. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit, what you, little bit of what you fancy is fine. Yeah, moderation is not the devil energy. The devil is kind of quite an indulgent energy. So, um... Yeah, this is this can be a, a kind of like how you bring things back into that kind of sense of healthy balance, healthy boundaries. What's for you, what's not for you. Seeing the truth, dealing with it. We have transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation, the best is yet to come. But sometimes we just have to surrender and trust our instincts. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what I have for you, Virgo, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.